Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm Bob. I'm Dan. And I'm Spencer. And this is the Board Game Rundown, and this is going to be an unboxing of Red Rising. No, you're not having Deja Vu. This is the non-deluxe edition. So if you were to just walk into your store, your FLGS, and buy it off the shelf, this is what it's going to look like. So Dan, where could they find an unboxing for that deluxe edition if they were uh, wondering what that looked right like? Right about. Uh-oh. There. It's like magic. And we had some issues. In, uh, oh, in we... our review and unboxing of things we didn't exactly love. And so we were wondering if the normal edition was going to fix those problems, which is a really weird and Way unfortunate about it. stuff to yeah. say. <laughs> right. But I can already tell you from the back of the box, it looks good. Uh, it yeah. looks like they fixed it. All right. <laughs> uh, I guess, I mean, I do like the collector's edition box better. Like of course. shinies and whatnot. Of sure. Course. Other sure. than that. Other than, I mean, it is the same artwork. It just doesn't have the, the, the foil right. imprint or yeah. whatever. Mm hmm. Well, Bob's still a uh, square rule book. Sorry, okay, so buddy. Still a positive. Well, they didn't fix that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this looks the same, yep, right? Yep. That's all the same. The same material, I imagine, too. These all look the same, correct? Looks uh, like yep, it to looks me. Yep, looks like the same. Yep, same okay. kind of uh, thickness on there. Oh, the old board the wasn't wrapped in shrink. Oh. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, that looks quite different. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. very different inside. So well, the, look. the deluxe edition or has new. not only a, uh, shiny foil. A, an <laughs> insert, that holds everything, mm -hmm. but the gold. Why don't you open those up, Spencer? Absolutely. Those uh, gold faction cards. That looks the same. Uh, uh, yeah, it yep. looks about the same. Those gold faction cards actually had like a really awesome like foil, foil inlay, there. right? Yeah. Like kind of highlighting. I'm wondering if they're the same size cards. I wish we had the deluxe one. I should have brought that with me. Ooh. I didn't think about that. Ooh. They're like plastic. Oh my yeah. gosh. Uh oh. Well, I can tell you right now, those cubes are better. Yeah. They are. And a slight spoiler I played this normal edition at a uh, friend of ours had it at a meetup yesterday, uh, and it was much easier to tell the difference. Was it really? Well, mm -hmm. Here are so, those non foil cards. Yeah. So these are, th this is it's exactly the same. the same as what yep. you would get. Which is nice. Yep. In the deluxe edition. Yep. Die looks the same. Yep. The die looks the same. Yep. The cards are lack. The gold cards uh, still have foil printing on the. But deluxe. they're still nice. High quality they're still card nice, stock. but yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. wondering if it's the same like kind of tarot size, or is that I, I don't. No, quite I think they're recall. smaller. Is it a little bit smaller? You I think? think so. I'm not positive. I'm not positive either, so I don't don't quote us on that. And we weren't we didn't have the foresight to bring my deluxe copy with me to side by side. Right. Well, I mean, either way though, I'm gonna say that these cards are really oh, yeah. good. Yeah, they're nice cards. Yeah, I mean they're nice quality cards. <laughs> I still. I do absolutely love the look of the foil. Same cards. I I would say. I want to sleeve my foil ones because yeah. they are nice. This one, I wouldn't be as worried about sleeving. Right under the camera. But I'm going to tell you right now, even just yeah. not color blue, because we had trouble, and I'm not, I have, I don't have, I mean, I got plenty of issues, but not, color, <laughs> colors, <laughs> colors, not, not issues, but color blind ain't one. <laughs> color blind ain't one, but, but these cubes, these bits, so much better. So much better. And they're much still. Much more distinct. And they're still a really good quality, so yeah. they're not like the metal, right? Which yep. I get, right? The appeal of having metal bits, mm -hmm. but these are nice. They're not plain wood; they're plastic. They're, right. These are a nice plastic. And like a, uh, I really like the look of that that almost starburst look, right? That yep. um, yeah, bright yellow. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. Well, the type of matte that is, you know what I'm saying? Sure. The type of uh, yeah. material plastic really, that is. Really strong colors, mm -hmm. and very so you can very what, much what, tell that there's a difference. What are the ones that are tough for you? In purple, right? Uh, None of those. None of those. Really. These two maybe a little bit are close. Like if okay. maybe in a shadow, it might be tough. But sure. Other. I mean, it's so but much you can easier. Delineate. Yeah. Yep. Right. So again, this is the main point we're trying to make here: is that in this edition, the colorblind guy mm -hmm. has a slight issue with some colors. In the collector's edition, the everybody non colorblind had, right? people had yeah. trouble with and all the colorblind. Of them. Guy. Yeah. Everybody. Well, had. Everybody had problems with. With yeah. the colors. Right. And even these, these are still these 3D are, tokens. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're still expecting less. Cardboard punch outs. Like, yeah. yeah. So I was surprised. I was like, oh, they didn't I'm, even uh, plastic. I'm, I wasn't expecting still. to have the, the little, the uh, little tray. Yeah, the yeah. tray. Yeah, the like, tray I gotta is really be, nice. I got to be completely honest. If I am ever going to get this game, there is no, get I'm one. getting this edition without even hesitating. Yeah. Uh, it solves, uh, from what I can tell so far in this, you know, 10 second unboxing so far, it solves every problem I had with the collector's edition. Right. The or, game was fun. It just had yep. some clear um, development choices that I did not like, and mm -hmm. this doesn't have those. Yep. And uh, we don't have the card stands. That's what I was say. It doesn't have the card stands, oh, right. which we didn't even miss. Were, really <laughs> crappy. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even notice. That's yeah, how yeah. I, like, we <laughs> didn't Sorry. use them. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the, the card stands were not great. They didn't function very they, good. No, they did not. They did mm -hmm. not. But... Uh, I mean, this stuff right here, this is good. Mm -hmm. Now, if you really, really, really just wanted to, like, you know, like, maximize your game, I don't know if you could 
go online just go out and buy, the card. And buy yeah. the card pack for the gold foil. Maybe. I mean, if Stonemeyer wanted to make some money, they could just Probably sell, sell the foil, sell the stamped the, ones. And, and and depending on the price point of that, I might do that if I if this was my game mm-hmm. and it's like okay, because those were very gorgeous. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. gorgeous. They're, yeah, they absolutely Probably are. one of the best parts of the differences mm-hmm. between it, the two. But they would. That would give you the best version of this game, yeah. barring the insert, right? right? And I don't care that much about the insert. I would rather have this in no insert mm-hmm. than I those agree. metal cubes right. that we can't tell the difference <laughs> yeah. of right. whose bits are whose <laughs> yeah, yeah. with a really nice insert. Mm-hmm. Because this is the same. This was a neat feature, yep. right, out of the original or uh, out of your deluxe. Mm-hmm. And so it turns out it wasn't even deluxe, right? So, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, I would say, I would say, in my opinion— and I'll let you guys share yours, is that get this version. Already did. Yep. <laughs> like, already shared that opinion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Um, yeah. If, if you guys want a short video just directly comparing the two versions, we should be able to do that. We should have access to that. So us literally just showing you, here's the gold in this one and the gold in this one. Here's the cards in this one the cards in this one, a direct comparison. Uh, that shouldn't be too hard to do. So let mm-hmm. us know if you want a direct comparison. But if, uh, if not, you can also just go check out our review and stuff of the collector's edition and see the differences there. But yeah, I I would recommend I'm anyone that I know who wants the game, I will recommend they get this version unless they really just wanna show off, you know, some nice components, like nice quality made components. Because I'm gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. Spencer, what do you say? Oh, I would definitely get this version. Um it's <clears throat> in terms of normal games, this would be considered a deluxe version already. I know. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Yeah, go for this one. I mean, they Which are working on all the cards. It's it, great. Is anyways. the other one even called deluxe or is it called like collector's, it's collector's edition? See, and that yeah, makes true. sense. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. This this game definitely feels in its base game as a deluxe edition, and that other one does feel like a collector's edition. It's almost an, a negative impact to the gameplay to have a nice, fancy-looking show-off <laughs> piece, yeah. right? you know, which is what collector is for. Or if you're a real <laughs> collector, you'll buy three. One you never move from box. Oh, boy. Okay. Sure. One you open up and they, take only the gold cards out and put it in the third one, which is this version. They we, start, <laughs> we do not endorse <laughs> right. Spencer's. They should start coming out with collector's edition for board games that are just three copies of the game bundled together. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know? that way you don't have to hunt down three copies. You just buy three copies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Honestly, you guys have seen now the differences. Yep. And uh, what do you guys think? Do you think it's worth the jump to have the fancy box on your shelf, or are you more uh, practical? I guess is what yeah. I, I would say. Sure. Right. This. Well, okay. I I will just say Bob and I do like having the fancy box on our shelves, but I would say nice. that this time the practical version is going to be really good. St- still yeah especially if you like the game you're interested in the theme don't don't you know stress yourself out and trying to find that colors actually edition. match right. now yeah yeah the colors actually good point. match <laughs> it matters now, yeah you know? it, this just looks better and purple doesn't exist <laughs> <laughs> they were like yeah yeah, yeah. Purple <laughs> but yeah this is much better this is yeah. much better guys in my opinion i think it's a consensus here yeah but but anyways, so this has been Red Rising, uh, the regular Standard, version yeah. from uh, Stonemaier Games. I've been Tim. I've been Bob. I've been Dan. And I've been Spencer. This has been the Board Game Rundown. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the Board Game Rundown. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Share our videos on social media and spread the word. We publish new content weekly, including reviews, unboxing, and Let's Plays. And as always, thanks for watching.